No, I'm down from Terry Barton. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Councilman Rowe. Councilman Poole. Here. Councilman Cotton. <coughs> Councilman Kerry Barton. Here. Councilman Watson. Here. Councilman Fred Barton. Here. Mayor Loveless. Here. We have a quorum for business, Mayor. Uh, approval of the minutes from the last meeting. May I offer a motion to approve the minutes of the last meeting? Second. Motion by Councilman Watson to approve the minutes from the last meeting, seconded by Councilman Kerry Barton. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilman Poole. Yes. Councilman Kerry Barton. Yes. Councilman Watson. Yes. Councilman Fred Barton. Yes. The motion carries and the minutes from the last meeting are approved. I would like to uh, welcome our visitors we have here with us today. I appreciate y'all all coming. I'd also like to make it a, a mention for the record that we lost the other day uh, a former city clerk for the city of Bruton, um, J.P. Sutton <coughs> Maxwell. Sonny was 83 years old, uh, and he had been the city clerk uh, for Bruton uh, for 33 years when he served the city. Uh, he was a wonderful man to work with. I knew Sonny and his wife uh, well, and uh, we will miss him very much. Uh, approval of the agenda. Mayor, the council has a copy of the agenda. And there's a copy on the wall for those in the audience. Are there any changes that need to be made to the agenda? Okay. Hearing none, then those who would like to approve the agenda as presented, let it be known by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed, please say nay. Ayes have it, and the agenda is approved as presented. I want to call a public hearing to order uh, on a table of permitted uses that was presented to the City Council, are there any, is there anybody here that wants to uh, speak uh, in favor of uh, us passing the permitted uses table? Mayor and Council, the uh, Planning Commission, just to kind of give everybody a, a uh, highlight of what exp Expired. I mean, I did, I'm not going to go over the whole table of uses like I did last time. Thank you. But uh, we had about 75 changes. Most of those changes were made to the historic district. And um, the first meeting, of course, started uh, was August 10th of last year. And then uh, we had someone come in from Sarpsey that, that spoke to us about what, how to do, go about making the changes in the table of uses. And that was in sep September the 1st. And then November the 9th, and then the next meeting, November the 30th, both were those discussion meetings. And then we finally had a public hearing the 9th day of February of this year. And then, uh, and then of course, today for the uh, final public hearing for the city council. So, like I said, about 75 changes were made to the table of uses to make it more, uh, especially in the historic district, more uh, business friendly. Anybody else here to speak in favor? <coughs> Anybody here wants to speak in opposition? And then I'll close the public hearing. Mayor and Council, an ordinance has been prepared to make these necessary changes to the table of permitted uses for the land use and development ordinance in the Code of, of Bruton if the Council sees fit to act upon it today. Offer me to consideration of orders number 16-0328. Second. <clears throat> Motion by Councilman Watson to introduce ordinance number 16-0328, seconded by Councilman <clears throat> Kerry Barton. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilman Poole. Yes. Councilman Kerry Barton. Yes. Councilman Watson. Yes. Councilman Fred Barton. Yes. The motion carries. And ordinance number 16-0328 is introduced. <laughs> you have, have we got to get the mirror on this one? On immediate consideration, we okay. do, on the next one. Okay. 
Motion for immediate, for immediate consideration. Orders number 160328. Second. Motion by Councilman Watson to immediately consider ordinance number 16-0328. Seconded by Councilman Barton. Is there any, Councilman Fred Barton, is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilman Poole. Yes. Councilman Kerry Barton. Yes. Councilman Watson. Yes. Councilman Fred Barton. Yes. Mayor Loveless. Yes. We have unanimous consent, so ordinance number 16-0328 is immediately considered. I propose your approval of ordinance number 16-0328. Second. Motion by Councilman Watson to approve ordinance number 16-0328, seconded by Councilman Kerry Barton. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilman Poole. Yes. Councilman Kerry Barton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Fred Barton? Yes. The motion passes and ordinance number 16-0328 is approved. Under old business, there's none. Uh, the next item I'll call the city clerk. Mayor and Council, gentlemen, Santiago Torres desires to open a Mexican restaurant in what was formerly a building that housed Acapulco restaurant. He desires to have a restaurant liquor license, so he has to go through the ABC board. He's done that. We've received notification from the ABC board, and now it comes to the council. It's up to the council to decide whether or not to schedule a public hearing so we can make publication in the newspaper advertising this public hearing on March the 30th and April the 6th, and to schedule a public hearing for April the 25th, 2016. At such time, all people <coughs> in opposition to or in favor of it would have an opportunity to come speak. So his request before the council today is just simply publish and schedule this public hearing and let him move forward with uh, obtaining that license for his Mikasa named Mexican restaurant down in a downtown building. I'll propose it for the public hearing. I second. Councilman Fred Barton, did you make the motion? Yes. And who seconded? I did. Okay. Thank you. Motion by Councilman Fred Barton to approve resolution number 16-0328 that would call for publishing a public hearing for Mikasa Bruton LLC, publish a public hearing notice in the Bruton Standard on March 30th and April the 6th, and then actually schedule the public hearing on April the 25th. Is there any discussion concerning this? Yes, sir. Um, the previous business, did it have a liquor license? Yes, sir. Okay. Any other discussion? Hearing none, Councilman Poole. Yes. Councilman Kerry Barton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Fred Barton? Yes. The motion passes. Resolution number 16-0328 is approved and we will make those appropriate publications in the paper and schedule a public hearing on April the 25th. Next item I'll also call on the city clerk. Mayor, the state legislature has passed the act and approved the rule. We're on the first weekend of August. You can have a sales tax holiday where certain and selected school items are exempt from sales and use taxes. This year's first weekend is August the 5th through the 7th. We did this last year, but we have to actually pass a resolution and send it on to the Alabama Department of Revenue indicating if we'll participate again this year. And if we decide not to participate, we have to give them notice also. But a resolution has been prepared to that effect to designate August the 5th through the 7th <coughs> as a sales tax holiday for certain select school items. Make a motion to approve 16-0328-1. Second. Uh, who did the second? I did. Can oh, Councilman, okay. Motion by Councilman Barton to approve resolution number 16-0328-1. Seconded by Councilman Watson. Is there any discussion? Okay. Hearing none, Councilman Poole. Yes. Councilman Kerry Barton. Yes. Councilman Watson. Yes. Councilman Fred Barton. Yes. 
The motion passes and resolution number 16-0328-1 is approved. Next item is discussion about a landfill caterpillar lease and I call on Craig Kirkins. Mayor, Council. Uh, what, what we decided to do is um, we just purchased the loader out there. Uh, for some reason we was on both equipment at the same time. I'd rather try to get alternate where we're paying for one new piece of equipment and once that runs out, you know, the other one's time to change instead of trying to pay for two at the same time, sort of trying to cut the money down by, by doing that. Um, the, the dozer that we have through Caterpillar, our, our five-year lease is up, um, our warranty runs out. Um, the warranty's a plus. I mean, it, it costs crazy if the warranty runs out and we have to repair something. The undercarriage on this dozer uh, is about 60 percent usage now. Uh, if we decided to keep it, then we'd have to turn around, spend that much money anyway. Um, so the main reason that I'm asking to get a new one is where we can get it on alternate bids, you know, where we don't have to pay for two pieces of new equipment at the same time. So you're asking to put it on a, get another one on lease? Is that what you're saying? Yes, sir. And that money is currently budgeted. We've been making payment on a lease. This one's expired, and we're just going to a new one. Yeah. We need a motion to leave. Craig, let me back you up a minute. Uh, go back to the warranty. Uh, is the warranty for the duration uh, of the contract on that piece of equipment? Yes. And that's, and that's it five was years. five years. Five years. Okay. Five years. The warranty's good for the full five years? Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, you need a motion to That's right. Okay. Make a motion to approve resolution number 16-0328-2. Second. Motion by Councilman Kerry Barton to approve resolution number 16-0328-2. Seconded by Councilman Fred Barton. Is there any discussion? So, Craig, what we got now, we're just going to sell it, scrap it? Or? Yes, they, uh, the latest on it, the, he was trying to get a, a buyer for it. Uh, and what happens is the undercarriage is just like if you've got a backhoe with tires, you've got to have 50% of it on it. Right. So whatever that comes to be, we'll have to pay that part what Caterpillar don't cover. Okay. Any other discussion? Councilman Poole? Yes. Councilman Kerry Barton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Fred Barton? Yes. The motion passes and resolution number 16-0328-2 is approved. The engineer for the paving products that we presently have going on with DMD engineers is Russell Holland. Russell is sick today and he has asked his, one of his uh, cohorts. That's to fine. Troy Hudson, I'm sorry. Mayor, Council, good to be with y'all today. Um, yes, Russell is sick and he did ask me to to, to kind of fill y'all in. Y'all may have questions, don't know how exactly, but I've, I've kind of got a list of a few things. If you want me to, I'll just run through that briefly. And Craig may have to back me up on a couple of things. Uh, the phase one, I'll call it A-Trip project, which is the one that's uh, basically on Sour Road North. And well, it's all over the place, but I guess the, the part that we're lacking or that anything's lacking on being completed there, the guardrail over on King Branch. Uh, I think that was actually group two A-Trip, but I've referring to his phase one. The first one lit. I uh, was over there this afternoon again to look myself. Uh, there are some issues with utilities. I'm not sure if y'all are aware of that or not with that section of guardrail. Is there a way to end that guardrail right where it is? Shorter. Now? Well, uh, that's, I think, something we're going to have to meet about to see, Mayor. It's, ALDOT obviously approves all that stuff up front, and there's a good bit of, you know, there's, there's some flexibility, but on guardrails, they can be kind of sticky. Several places, as you, if you recall, going through that project, we didn't necessarily think we'd have to do anything different with a guardrail or on these projects collectively, I should say, and wound up having to do some things to meet their minimum requirements. So to answer that, kind of where I was going, we're going to need to meet again with that contractor, probably with the state guy again. And I know Ray could, we've talked about relocating potentially some gas line, but I know he's got a lot of things going right now on some big projects, so that would be down the road, probably out into June or something like that. 
Don't let me put words in your mouth. So stop. Me I just want to mention, yeah, it, it will be June, July before we can actually move the gas line. So, and that's a pretty, pretty uh, substantial. And they would be extending, if, if we went with the original plans, that would be extending that guardrail, right? It, it would be. It'll, it'll yeah. definitely be. They have end anchors that they call it. That, a big part of the safety deal with guardrails. So uh, without knowing the exact particulars of that one, right off the top of my head, it, right. it would be something we would have to get them to approve just because Hopefully I they would allow us to stop where it is. <laughs> okay. We'll ask. Right. We'll ask and see. The other, so obviously. Trump, excuse me. So basically didn't hold up is us moving the gas line. Yeah, is there, there was a water too, but I think we, it was something that... So you know, utilities is holding us up, I should say. There, there are. There's some conflicts. What they did was they went, they potholed to find out exactly where the, mm -hmm. the gas and the water was in there. And as you know, you can locate that stuff on the top, but once you get down in there, Mr. Joe, it, it, you know, it's not yeah. always right on. So okay. we actually looked in a couple of those, and you can oh, see okay. the yellow gas line in the hole. So they, I mean, it was dead up where the post needed to be. Now, how much relief we can get, and then Ray's got some guidelines too, especially on natural gas in terms of how close you'd want something like that to the, you know, especially if you got to drive it in the ground just because of the vibration, and if it rubs against the pipe, it can cause some damage and stuff. So um, those are obviously things still have to be addressed. The, the paint spill, I guess is what I would call it. Um, there was a letter, I believe it was last week, from... Ozark Stripe the subcontractor that wanted to continue the, I'm going to call it seal coat, the, the paint job over the, the area that they've actually sandblasted the paint from the asphalt. Um, I think they got so far doing that, kind of camouflaging it with a black seal coat. And I use kind of loosely. Um, they reached a point where we pretty much made them stop doing that because I don't think we were getting the satisfaction of what you guys expect or what we expect <coughs> there's there's a little wishy-wash going on there it seems with with the state on exactly how that needs to be completed um, so my recommendation on that and I've spoken with Russell about it too and and is is to bring the players back to the table and talk again real seriously about replacing a section of asphalt or or doing something whatever the state if the state has a different remedy that they will allow us to do on that. Not a, not a real hard answer there. My thing is, based on that letter, I think we're at a point of coming back to the table, getting Al Dodd at, at the table as, with you, or you know, with the city, and the roll, roll up truck, where, where did uh, this paint spill? Where is this located? It's on it's Sile Road North. Near the same area of the, I guess it's just north of that guardrail section. Or may actually start right there. It's pretty close to it, okay. uh, up to Wood Woodmere. Woodmere. Okay. That same company that did that. Now, Wiregrass was the is the contractor, the prime contractor. Has there been any indication then when they're going to remove their signs and other things they still have up on the areas they've completed? Could you check with check them? Check on Because they've left them up way too long. And there are some requirements, but there's, it's probably, probably selectively could be. There might be some in the guardrail area, obviously in that area, that probably would, if they're still, I guess they're still in place I'm there. I'm going to run high school in areas like that. I got you, some where they're completely out area. of the mix. Um, the phase two project, first three or four streets are done, and they'll start on Alco. Supposed to start paving on Alco tomorrow. And then they'll presume from there to college is my understanding. Now that Councilman Barton said you could wait as long as you wanted to. Wait yeah. a little bit longer on that one? Why not? We've been waiting forever. There you go. 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 Don't listen to the Metro. Don't listen to the I didn't, I didn't say it. <laughs> anyway. Um, but that's supposed to, they're supposed to start that tomorrow. So, I, you know, if the weather holds, I guess, is, is all I can say about that. Now, when I, they finish those, those two, mm -hmm. are they then going to come back and get from St. Nicholas uh, on West Underwood? Mm -hmm. that that was, and that was what we spoke about right. a minute ago. I think that's something we could 
we just need to talk with them about. And then there's one drainage issue there. I, I know they've yeah, looked at it. Uh, last week I met with Russell and Justin and Pat with, with DMD. Um, we got to address a drainage problem. We think it's a drainage problem. We got to address that because it's been a problem for a while before, but they got the plans, what they're going to do to the road and everything. And we just got to address that to start with. So I'm just sure. waiting to hear from them. And then that would finish phase two after we get all that. Right. Yes. Now, Cohen College. Like you saw on phase one, they'll have to let it cure out, come back and do the painting. Hopefully, just. <laughs> and then the sidewall by the Methodist Church would be done. Is that phase two? Yes. That that would be after they finish our code and college. That's right. They've got they're some. They're going to come back and do all the touch-ups, and that's going to be part of. It. Okay. There'll be some guardrail, I think, too. Yeah, some guardrail work. Ideally, while the asphalt's curing before they pave, they do that. But I'm, they've got uh, approximately the end of April, and that's a guess. I mean, based on work, it's a working day contract, so we're kind of tied on that. If it's a rainy day, it doesn't count against mm -hmm. the contract. And weekends don't, and certain things like that don't. So, you know, can't really, I can't say for certain, but I know that it's estimated somewhere about the end of April now is where that would. So you know where we stand now in the third phase, which is Sile Road from 31 north. Yes, uh, that's, that's what I was <laughs> going to hit next. Well, right, before you go to phase okay. three, there at the uh, hospital, that road, I think, Rose Inc. hit that pavement side of the hospital, right? There's some places there where you got the crosswalk where they got it started, but they didn't, put the, they didn't finish the crosswalk. Are they going to end up like that, or are they going to be, we got the, the bars on Talk about. No, they they won't put the bars in those. Oh, the, is it just two lines? Yes, right. If if it's not in a school yes. zone, that's what Al Dot specifies. The crosswalk. Well, I really imagine right. because a lot of people we normally see a crosswalk. And you, you think, see, you always think about the bars. See the bars. Oh, yeah. And I've seen same. even in some towns, I don't I remember. I may have been in Florida, but where it was just the bars, there weren't even the little side lines. Al Dot specifications now, their standard drawings call for just the two stripes. That is a crosswalk unless you're in a school zone or as a designated school zone area. Okay. So, but those are not going to tell us when they ask me, it's all they're going to do. So, when I ask you, that would be, yeah, because yeah. if yeah. they were going to do those, more than likely they would do it all yeah. at one. Okay. That's right. It right. might right. not be the same day, but it'd be pretty close together. I okay. Know. Hey, Troy, while we're drilling you, um, hmm. what is the curing time on your it's, 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 it's yeah. typically 14 days. 14 days. 14 days. Yeah. Well, the reason I ask that question is the temperature out. may make a difference. I'd, I'd have to look in the spec. The reason exactly. I ask that question because on College Drive and Alcohol Drive, there's a lot of bad curves. And at night, uh, you without that strike, trouble if we don't hurry and get that um, striking yeah. yeah. But they put down temporary striking. Don't they? they do that from time to time. However, it's not really reflective. So I don't know if you get the result. But And that's what I was checking with Craig to see. And it's a budget thing, probably. I mean, you know, a lot of times you just, why, why do that? Because you're going to cover it up in 14 days. Yeah. It might be worth, that's worth a mention. And then you guys have, you have a page on this, is that correct? And but we're, on, we're on page, we're on three right now, is that right? Stage three. No, still on two. On well, two. two, two, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You got the list, right? Uh, I sort of just got some notes of mine, but. <laughs> There's a couple of streets I want to ask you about. And okay. West Underwood was one, and I think, I think may have mentioned St. Nicholas was the other. Would that be on the next pavement? St. Nicholas, uh, from St. Nicholas. From yeah. St. Nicholas. Yeah. And, under, yes. and Underwood West. Right. I think Underwood West is what we're just talking about. Right. Yeah, it's right. not yeah. It's not yeah. technically yeah. something. We got to tell me the drain, drainage yeah. problem. Yeah. Drainage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. it, it's something we'd looked at as possibly, okay. possibly an add on type thing, is where uh, we are with that. So. I guess, I guess phase three, is that where we were now? Now, one more question. Okay. Never brought up a couple of times, not to trigger you. Uh, <laughs> Councilman Martin brought this up before, so did Councilman Poole. They're at the intersection of Tiger Drive and 31. Okay? You pretty much already got the permanent striping down. Some of the problem people have in it is the curbing. When they turn in, you know, it'd be dark and they'd run up on the curb a lot. And I think we had some point about could we do something to those curbs? <coughs> like some kind of put some reflective paint on it, uh, you know, add something to say. Well, we, we looked into that when we done uh, Douglas, and uh, the city don't have really, but maybe a few inches of right of way where that curb sticks out. Okay. So we'd have to try to get right away from Walgreens or whoever that property is and all that, 
to and that it. and once the white the widen that part mm -hmm. no, no no not the widen it but he's saying but something it, reflective I'm, that that is something that wasn't put in to the a trip and once you change it then it has to go back and then it just it takes done. longer time we, we've learned a lot about that so i mean that's that's for something my department could do to take care mm -hmm. of that if that's what you want done some pain. just at a later time yeah yeah, yeah. No, yeah. After this once process. this is closed i think what yeah. probably yeah. would be better not to confuse it so right. soon. <laughs> Phase three, Mayor, um, we're doing additional, we're trying to extend that further north. I think as was at Sour Road to Gordon. From, from Douglas to Underwood. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. We're, we're trying to get it pushed all the way up. Right. To, to Douglas, if you will. To, well, Douglas happened. Yeah, originally approved from Highway 31 to Douglas up to Underwood with new sidewalks. Right. Well, what we've, we've made the request to extend that further north all the way to Douglas Lane is what I meant to say. So what we're doing right now, actually this week, is putting down the counters, or we're supposed to be tomorrow, I think, is what we said, for additional traffic count information. And then we'll do some more asphalt cores to check thicknesses on that northernmost section. And a little bit more surveying. Now that should come together pretty quickly. This week kind of stuff. And plans, our plan, our, ho our best wish is by the end of April then to be at a point where we've submitted that P&E 85% review or whatever HALDOT makes us do. So the initial set then is to them for them to say, okay, change this or that or whatever, you know, when they talk about guardrail and things of that nature. Troy, let me ask you a question. Okay. Now, I understand what we're saying about going all the way up Douglas to mm -hmm. make it one pretty little stretch. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, in the last three, three years, we paid from Gordon up to Douglas, is that correct? Not Gordon, the road, I'll come up with side road. Um, on I mean, I'll tell you simple. When you go past old middle school, yes, top of the right. hill, from right there at four-way stops down the Gordon House, we paid that from right there all the way up to Douglas, correct? That's true. All right. Yes. How old is that pavement? Four years old at most. Four years. All right. Now, something we need to look at on this bottom piece <laughs> down on this end. All right. We're going to come up with 31 going up to, no, before we, before we extend that, we're going to stop there at Gordon, correct? Um. I think. Yes. I think originally it's, 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 yes, it's from, Underwood then up to Gordon. It's Gordon. It should, say that it should go to Gordon. Gordon. It should be. The, it should be the old piece. All right. My question I'm asking you, Troy, and I'd like for you to check this is. Okay. If you go down South Road, South, one to thirty-one, they're across from the city shop. There's that ditch and all this other stuff going on in there. Okay. Yeah. I'll, now drainage. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I was sacrificed. What's up north of me? To fish was down south of me. What I'm saying to say this is, it's been, been, been a long time something done on this end. And I can't see us going up there and put a dot on their asphalt on something that's four years old versus something been done in 30 years. Well, they, they told us they wasn't going to do that, that area. They're not going to do up to Douglas. Okay. They're not going to allow us to do that. That was the new information. The new information. But what I'm saying is, are we going to be able to do the thing with that ditch down on South Road? It does, it's including no plans. I'll, I'll check. I'm sure that they're doing something. They, well, they did meet with, with Al Dot did meet with some railroad folks down there a couple of weeks ago, and I have not heard nothing from that. Well, what I'm saying to say this is, you no, know, working with the county and not to put the county to the city of business, they going about the guardrail type 10 in acres. You would probably got to have a clear zone. All right, if you go down the side of the road, then you got to put a foot of road, then you got to ditch. Right. Anybody really going to let you put a road down through there? The state won't. Well, the railroad on I the road. Saying, yeah, I guess we're going to ship our road towards the city shop, I guess. Yeah. What I'm saying is, we're going to have to have a clear zone. Troy, you know what I'm saying? The ditch, we're clear zone. The, the ditch we're talking about is the railroad side. Mm -hmm. railroad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know there was a ditch. I, yeah, I, right was oh, yeah, you can't miss it, Troy. Ride right down and leave here. You yeah, can't I, miss I, it. I, I'm, I'm, I've been several years since I've been okay. Well, I'm saying this is what I'm saying here. I know you're saying it. It's a railroad ditch. All right? We're paying DMD to come up with some ideas out there this thing. And what I'm saying is, we're going to fix this road so pretty and nice. And you still got a ditch about, because 75, 80 feet, you got a ditch that's wide open. 
People can play by nighttime. You can't, you know, right. It's dark in there. Yes, sir. It's I dangerous. Understand. You're I saying they put that money there uh, and not fix it all. Our, I think the problem that we're standing now is what ALDOT allows us to do with the railroad. That's where we butt heads right now. Okay. Well, that and I think the A trip thing was, I don't want to say, but primarily intended to resurface. Now, right. I say that, obviously, we're talking about guardrails and we're talking about some drainage things and like that that they may be required. Of course, I guess they could require it to be just the city to do that before they would spend money or however. Right. But okay. that may be some of the, I guess, the emphasis was kind of on resurfacing. But they were working on it. I mean, okay. they, were, they haven't had a meeting like trying to okay. figure it out. So. Okay. But we'll, and I'll, I will, we'll ask again and see what the latest is on that. But I, I do know, yes, and I think, Craig, when I said that, I think they're kind of okay with the extending on to, to Gordon. Mm -hmm. But from Gordon north, it, it didn't sound very promising that that right. was going to happen. Yeah. And it might be just what you said. It might be that they've looked at it and said the asphalt old. is not that old. Granted, it won't be the same age then, but I, I know okay. what you I do know what you mean. Okay. That being said, that was kind of the phase three update, Mayor, as far as I know. I may have, if I skip something, ask him. So, do we have an estimated time we would actually start on the, the phase southern three. part of Sowell Road? You think it would be the summer? Maybe. I, I think we've seen enough LDOT reviews to know that it's not a real fast process. Maybe. And, and just what uh, Councilman Watson was talking about. Of course, we'll ask that question. And that's something we'd want to go ahead while we're well, submitting we this while we're there. Yes. And Sowell is, our, that I is yeah. our most expensive project, right? Yes, yes, by far. Well, I shouldn't we're... say by far, but yes, for one street, yes, right. it is. Because it's a Very complete huge. rebuild, right? Yeah, that's right. To, well, to some extent. Paving, it's a, it's a... To, to some extent. I think initially it was going to be a really a rebuild with a lot of stuff, but it was, I think they carved that out in the early budgets, is my understanding. Russell could answer that one better than I could. But. To a ballpark table, how much you think it cost us? If we were to go four million, five? No, I don't, I don't think we're dealing with that kind of money. No, I, but, but Mr. Joe, I'm, I'm not prepared to give a number. Okay. I, they, we have a, we kind of have a set number already that okay. we're working with, but I, I'm not familiar enough to try okay. and do that. Any other questions? Hmm. <laughs> thank you, Troy. There's not much left. Thank you, Troy. Thank you. I know, Russell, thank we hope you feel better soon. We thank you. And he, he said the same. He said he'd hate to miss you all. And I appreciate it. It's always good to see you guys. Appreciate right. it. Yes, sir. Thank you, Troy. There is a uh, vacancy uh, that will occur at the end of April on the uh, Bruton City Board of Education. Dr. Keith Miller will be coming off the board, and I appoint a committee of uh, Councilman Cotton and Councilman Poo and, uh, to, to come up with some nominees for that position. Are there any announcements or comments? Uh, no announcements, Mayor, but we have a comment to come from Ruthie Cooper, D.W. McMillan Memorial Hospital. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I was here, I think, six weeks ago, and I'm sorry I missed the last meeting. I forgot. Um, hmm. I came to get approval for the 5K that we have on April the 23rd. Um, I talked to um, Mr. Uhouse and he said that I needed to get it cleared with the um, police department. I talked to Lieutenant Holt and he said that that would be fine. So I'm here to get you guys approval today. What time? What time is that run? Eight o'clock. Eight o'clock? Yes, sir. You're not going to require any roads to be closed, is that correct? You're no, sir. Cross roads, closing roads. Well, we normally have people with the hospital standing there <laughs> just to stop traffic long enough for the people to run through. Right. But we don't close them, no, sir. Okay. 
I make a motion to approve the 5K run. Second. Okay. Motion by Councilman Fred Barton to approve the 5K run request by Ruthie Cooper of DW McMillan Memorial Hospital, seconded by Councilman Kerry Barton. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Councilman Poole? Yes. Councilman Kerry Barton? Yes. Councilman Watson? Yes. Councilman Fred Barton? Yes. Motion carries and approval is so granted. I'd like to remind uh, the public that Dr. E.O. Wilson will be in Bruton uh, Wednesday at the Bruton Public Library starting at 11 o'clock for a book signing and a presentation for the E.O. Wilson Scholarship. And the public is welcome to attend. I want you to adjourn.